I'm your host, David Shansky, and you're listening to Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. Our purpose is to work with you to help you overcome any limiting beliefs you have. We discuss this by talking about how to improve yourself with psychology and mental health, improve relationships, and anything that affects the way you see yourself based on how other people see you and how to deal with it in a way that you build up your own self-confidence. So today's presentation is your higher self. How can it help you and four ways you can connect to it? Are you tired of feeling lost and directionless in your life? Does it seem like no matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to get the right decisions? Well, the good news is that you can stop second guessing yourself and start trusting in your higher self guidance. Our higher selves are the wise and intuitive part of us that can help guide our thoughts towards the path that aligns us with our true purpose and desires. By embracing this guidance, we can finally make the optimal life decisions that will lead us to the fulfilling and joyful life that we deserve. So, let's delve deeper into the power of our higher selves and discover how we can tap into this wisdom for a more enriching and purposeful life, tapping into the real you. As you continue to grow and evolve, chances are you are opening up more and more to a greater awareness of your higher self. And this is part of you. And that is beyond the ego of false self. That false self is the cover-up that we do to not let other people around us see who we truly are. You see, your higher self is essentially the real you, the you that is completely conscious and knowledgeable. Think of it as like an instruction manual to help center that you can access when you need information or ideas. It will benefit you greatly to learn how you can access your higher self whenever you want to or need guidance, your higher self perks. Chances are that you will have some unanswered questions in life or need some wisdom. One of the perks of being connected to your higher self is that you can get the answers that you desire if you have not been gleaning such wisdom from your higher self, you're probably just lost connection along the way. Having free will, we tend to do this sometimes. The good news is that you can get reconnected and enjoy some wonderful perks. So what does the higher self do, think of your higher self as your inner GPS. You're, you simply have to turn it on in order to get directions. Your higher self orchestrates your life. You may not be aware that this inner navigator system is trying to work on your behalf but it certainly does try to get your attention. The problem is 
that many people do not know how to get acquainted with such a system. So how can you connect to your higher self? Chances are that you're connected with your higher self on and off throughout the years. Remember a time when you've gotten a feeling about something and either you didn't do what you were going to do, that's your higher self intuitively nudging you to really get all the benefits of your higher self. It is essential to get to know how you can become and remain connected to it all. So here are some various ways to do it. Meditation. Spending time in a quiet meditation is a great way to get connected to your higher self. As you meditate, you experience fewer thoughts and experience more peace. That peace in your mind allows you to connect more easily to your higher self. So you'll have an easier time receiving messages. Practice meditation regularly because as you do, you're more apt to hear what it is trying to say. Visualize, take some time to see yourself talking with your higher self in a peaceful location. Envision that you both sitting on the beach or in a garden talking. What does your higher self look like? They may take on various forms at different times. Perhaps they look just like you now or when you are older, or maybe your higher self has no resemblance to you. There really is no right or wrong. When you're visualizing, simply let things unfold as they do. Journal. Take some time regularly to write down your thoughts, dreams, and feelings in a journal. You can even ask your higher self a question by writing it down. Then remain quiet and listen for the answer. Be mindful. Practice mindful living, which means that you are mindful of the present moment. Practice staying in the present and not in the past or future. As you do, you will remain more connected with your higher self. Now, there's one thing that I'm going to say. Often, if we have no luck, outside of our day-to-day -day activities and we don't interact with people, then we're going to tend to think about the past and talk about what we did in the past when we were interacting with someone. How can my higher self help me? You can help you with any area in your life. Do you have unanswered questions? Do you need some assistance with what direction to go in life? Are you wondering about a career change or relationship? As you go about your life's journey, it can be the help center that you need in order to walk the path that you will enjoy. You want to be firmly connected to your higher self so that you can lead a peaceful and happy life. After all, this is what you really want. Sure, we learn lessons 
along the way when we steer off track. But the closer you get to it, the less chaos and confusion you will experience. It all begins with your desire to touch base with your higher self. As you make the effort, you'll be pleasantly surprised as to how easy it is to get connected and stay connected. So keep in mind that the connection will wane if you neglect thoughts of your higher self. For starters, ask your higher self to connect with you. Ask them to help you navigate through life. Then do your part by being mindful of the connection and the guidance that comes along with it. Life won't be as tough when you create a solid connection with your higher self and trust the process. When you're feeling negative emotions, get quiet and ask it to help. Question them as to why you are experiencing such an emotion and ask for tips for what to do moving forward. You are a spiritual person on an earthly journey. The more you focus on the spiritual end, the less stressful and challenging it will be in the physical self. If you, if you want to learn more about your physical power, then you can read the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And it's a wonderful book that helps you understand your higher self better. You have to recognize where you're coming from. And you know, the thing is, you have to be in touch with who you are. The better you know yourself, the better chance you have to be successful at whatever you choose to become.